I mean, I think uh, the legacy of a lot of this stuff is environmental racism, right? That, that, so racism has, racism isn't just about you live in that neighborhood, I live in this neighborhood. It's about you live in that neighborhood and I'm going to put all the other crap that I don't want in my city <laughs> in your neighborhood, you know, so you're going to live near all the pollution, all the traffic, all the, you know, that you're going to, your environment is going to be terrible in terms of overcrowding and poor housing conditions and terrible schools and, you know, the, the, the health effects that high stress, high crime environments in, in, uh, inflict on people. Um, and so quite literally your environment is going to be part of what is kind of breaking you down as a person um, and these things are going to be layered on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer um, and so the legacy of, of environmental racism is really hard to overcome right it's this because it's so much stuff on top of each other um, and I think that a lot of environmentalism is green without understanding any of that history of environmental racism so that environmentalism becomes about you know the car that you drive and not about where we put power generating facilities in the city or you know why certain neighborhoods have such higher rates of asthma than other neighborhoods right and sort of the ways in which that's all linked with race and class too um, so I think environmentalism is has again is sort of like multiculturalism. It has lots of different meanings. So if our understanding of environmentalism is purely about like the natural environment, whatever that means, then that's not a full environmentalism, right? Because the urban environment is also an environment. Um, and so we have to remake the entire package, right? It's not just about environmentalism is about, isn't about recycling, <laughs> right? It's about and it's not just about closing down the coal burning power plants in Little Village and Pilsen. It's about making sure that then the people of Pilsen and Little Village receive some direct benefit from whatever happens to those closed down you know, coal burning power plants because they're the ones who suffered the negative consequences of it for 110 years. So those, those kinds of connections um, is what we need to do for environmental, you know, in terms of making sure environmentalism actually achieves social change, which is what it should do rather than just like environmental change. You know, if we all start, dri you know, driving, um, you know, Priuses, that's not an environmental revolution, right? That's a consumer revolution. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just a change in consumer preferences, right? The environmentalism needs to be much deeper than that.